News 13 investigative reporter Larry Barker has been digging again where some people don't want him to dig. Some of what he is about to disclose tonight is so downright dumb that it defies belief. Some appears to be deliberately deceitful, maybe criminal. A warning before we start this report, if you have high blood pressure, take your meds now. You're going to need them. There's a lot of money being misspent. I would think it's corruption. I think it's an issue that the attorney general should be involved in. People should be outraged about what's happened with this money. The evidence is scattered across New Mexico. Waste, abuse of power, squandered millions, a condemned warehouse, a football bowl game, an empty office building. Each year, legislators funnel millions of dollars into projects that focus on health, safety, quality of life, and economic development. Might be a new fire truck or a new roof for a senior citizen center. Now, lawmakers pay for these projects through appropriations called capital outlay. You know it better as pork. In just one year, legislators poured almost $800 million into 3,400 community projects. We know how much politicians spend, but the public is never told what really happens to all that money. Consider the National Institute of Flamenco, a nonprofit dedicated to promoting the Spanish dance form. Twelve Albuquerque legislators hit up taxpayers a half million dollars to buy a new dance studio for the Flamenco folks. That was 2008. So what do we have to show for our half million dollar investment? This weed choked, derelict warehouse. The ceiling has fallen in, there's holes in the roof, the walls are dangerously cracked. The only occupants are stray cats. And other than a few costumes, there's not a single flamenco dancer in sight. You see, it was only after taxpayers paid a half million for the CD warehouse that inspectors determined it should be demolished. The building that was purchased using state capital funds for the National Institute of Flamenco is basically in a state of complete disrepair and it's uninhabitable and cannot be used for any sort of commercial or residential purpose. In 07, an Albuquerque legislator single-handedly used $45,000 in public funds to buy two passenger vans for an Albuquerque state agency. However, shortly after the vans were purchased, the titles were mysteriously and illegally transferred into private hands. That was four years ago. Nobody in state government noticed taxpayers' $45,000 investment had been hijacked. Tom Clifford is cabinet secretary for the Department of Finance. The evidence that you have helped us to dig up indicates that, in fact, actual title of the vans was at one point transferred to the nonprofit entity, and that's where there was a breach of the state's laws in terms of the use at the appropriate use of public property. Three years ago, a trio of legislators authorized three quarters of a million dollars to design a veterans museum in Las Cruces. But don't bother heading out to southern New Mexico to drop in. It's not here. Lawmakers only appropriated enough money to design the museum not build it. Today, these $765,000 plans are stored in a Santa Fe back office. How about the Albuquerque Holocaust and Intolerance Museum? This project was bungled. Yes? It feels like it to me. Ten state legislators got together to spend $1.7 million in public money to buy this downtown Albuquerque office building for a Holocaust museum. But lawmakers only appropriated enough money to buy the building, not renovate it. So the museum folks said, thanks, but no thanks, and set up the Holocaust Museum down the street. The legislative white elephant has been sitting vacant for four years. Almost $1.7 million for a big, empty office building, which nobody has any use for today. Was that a wise expenditure of public funds, your opinion? No. A state senator provided $80,000 in public money for this Alamogordo Veterans Museum. But the project was mismanaged when Otero County failed to get state approval for a questionable lease agreement with a private group operating the museum. Yeah! And then there's Albuquerque's annual postseason college football contest, the New Mexico Bowl. In 07, Governor Richardson handed the New Mexico Bowl $200,000 
for a feasibility study and to purchase equipment. But a News 13 investigation discovered during the last administration, officials at the state tourism department illegally intercepted the entire $200,000 appropriation, sacking the bull's ambition. You've helped us to identify and uncover the way the money was used does, appears to not be consistent with what was specified in the statute, and that's a misuse of funds. First of all, we're going to refer this issue for sure. This is an issue that needs to be thoroughly investigated. Our investigation uncovered millions in wasted or misspent public dollars. In fact, State finance officials admit there's so much money tied up in pork barrel projects, they can't keep track of it all. Senator Pete Campos has been a longtime critic of the capital outlay process. Every penny to every dollar that we spend needs to be tracked, it needs to be accounted for, and it needs to be in a process that has already been vetted before the resources are uh, let go for a project. Is that happening today, Senator? No, it is not. It's obvious that there's intentional financial abuse uh, on some of the projects you and I have talked about. Senator John Arthur Smith chairs the Senate Finance Committee. Obviously shameful, uh, and it's embarrassing when we're here to represent the people, and they expect us to be responsible in how we spend their dollars, and they find otherwise. Our investigation caught the attention of the governor. The consequences of any individual or agency or elected official or anyone who misspends uh, taxpayer dollars should be that there be an investigation that includes a criminal investigation and a referral to the Attorney General's office. There has to be some consequence for misspending taxpayer dollars. Larry Barker, KRQE News 13. And in fact, that $45,000 passenger van appropriation and the $200,000 New Mexico Bowl project have both been sent now to the Attorney General for a criminal investigation.